Hi, my name is Claire Solu Bird, and I'm a licensed social worker. I currently serve the members of the Senior Center of the Chathams. I'm so thankful to have the opportunity to spend some time with you this week. I hope that you are all staying safe and are well stocked with the essential goods. I have been feeling the loss of connection, especially amongst seniors. And with the help of the Senior Center of the Chathams, we have created specific programs to gather in a virtual community. I would like to officially invite you to two meetings that I am hosting. They will occur every week. One takes place on Thursdays from 1 to 2.30 p.m. and it's called Connections, Coping with Quarantine. This is more of a support group model. And the other program is on Fridays from 9 to 10 a.m. And that program is called Coffee with Claire. And it's more of an informal gathering. You can join these groups through an online conferencing website called Zoom. Or you can call into the meeting by phone. If you would like more information, please contact the Senior Center of the Chathams and they will help you get started. As a social worker, my focus is on emotional health. I know it doesn't feel the same, but my hope is that by using this online medium, I can reach out to you and work on validating your feelings and fostering connection from the safety of your home. This week, I would like to spend some time thinking about how to recharge our emotional battery using the concepts of hope and joy and thinking about how to cultivate gratitude during this unimaginable time. So for the next few minutes, I ask you to find a comfortable chair and connect with your heart and your spirit. Again, I wanted to share with you this graphic of a battery. I want you to check in with yourself and think about what is your emotional battery level right now? Are you feeling depleted? Are you struggling to find ways to recharge your spirit? Is the physical distance that now we are all required, is it wearing you down? What role does fear play in your life? Does it hit you when you turn on the news every day? Does your mind start to stir up worst case scenarios? Is it hard to fall asleep? Or worse, once you get to sleep, is it hard to stay asleep? Our community is suffering right now, and seniors are at a greater risk. I want to honor your feelings of fear and share in your concern. We have more questions right now than answers, and fear is a normal emotion that surfaces when there is uncertainty. The way I combat fear is to allow hope to enter the picture. I would like to share a quote with you. It says, when the world says give up, hope 
whispers, try it one more time. Finding hope can be tricky. And joy? Joy seems untouchable right now. But if we really look for them, hope and joy can be invited back into our lives. So I would like to work on planting seeds of hope and joy in your day right now. If you will please get three pieces of blank paper. And get a pen. If you would take two pieces and write the word hope on one and joy on the other. Now let's start with joy. Now I have been told that joy is tricky for older adults. So here is a quote that will help you understand what I mean by joy. To have joy in your heart, one must know how to appreciate the small things in life. So for our purposes today, I would like you to start to make a list of the small things in your life that have brought you joy today. For instance, did you have a hot cup of coffee or tea this morning? Did you enjoy a warm shower or bath? Was there a person in your life that you connected with today? Is there a favorite treat or baked good in your pantry that you will eat later today? Can you look out your window and notice nature in full bloom? So please take some time to list the small things in your life that you value today. The simpler, the better. On the next page, I want you to think about what you hope to enjoy in the future. I want you to think about what are you looking forward to? It could be a simple hug or a handshake. Maybe going out for a meal or coffee with a friend. Seeing kids play outside. Maybe listening to an outdoor concert. Heading to the library to check out a book. Playing cards, attending an exercise class, going to a painting class or a writing workshop. Maybe it's attending a lecture on a topic that you have always been curious about. Let's flood our lives with images of things that we are looking forward to. Even if we can't experience them today, hope gives us strength to put one foot in front of the other. So what am I going to do with this third piece of paper? I love to give homework. Our third assignment is to cultivate gratitude. I would like you to spend some time this week thinking about your life and making a list of the special people that you have met, the experiences that you have lived through, 
special events that you're grateful for. So jog your memory. Look at old photos, yearbooks, wedding album, your baby book, some cherished cards from a friend, a trophy or a plaque that you earned, your diploma, keepsakes, and other treasures from your life. I want you to reflect on how grateful you feel for the things that shaped your life. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if as you recall things, you may realize that there have been challenges. But now that you reflect on them, that you feel grateful for the adversity. I hope that gratitude can be back in our lives and help us cope with the struggles that we are feeling now. Together, we have planted the seeds of hope and joy. And now it's your job to keep them growing in your life. Whenever you start to feel fear, please pick up these pieces of paper and nourish yourself with positive thoughts. I hope we can continue to be there for each other in this virtual space. My intention is to create one short video each week to help provide support and foster connection. I really miss seeing you all and look forward to when we can be together again in person. Thank you so much for your time and I'm sending you my best wishes.